What is up, Cratics? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's double money event week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. So, in terms of changes for this week, the Vapid Slam Truck is now officially available for normal purchase from the Summer San Andreas website. It has a ton of customization and is a lot of fun to mess around with. But, anyways, this event week is for January 21st through January 27th, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the Vapid Peyote Custom. This vehicle is primarily based on the first generation Ford Thunderbird. The Benny's custom conversion of it released about six months ago with the summer update and normally costs about $658,000 if you include the $620,000 custom fee. The Peyote Custom is your typical Benny's lowrider. I'm personally not really too much into lowriders, but I know there's definitely a large community for it. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Peyote Custom and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $750,000 depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Peyote Custom worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Honestly, this is one of those vehicles that is mainly just for styling and customization as with most lowriders. If you don't win it from a lucky wheel within the first couple of tries, I don't really recommend spending hours spinning the lucky wheel over and over unless you truly like the Peyote Custom. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 40% off the bunkers as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. For those of you who don't have a bunker business, I highly recommend one for those of you who want passive income. It's a great way of making money while you're doing other stuff in the game. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the GB200. This car is in the sports class and is a ton of fun to drive, off-road, rally, and customize as well. Unfortunately, it does have slow handling flags, which really impact its performance, so keep that in mind. Moving on to the 7 San Andreas website, we have 40% off the car car 4x4. So this truck is in the off-roads class and is one of the best off-roaders up there with the Camacho and the Trophy truck but those are a little better. The overall driving experience of the car car 4x4 and the customization are very good. If you don't have a car car, I highly recommend getting one this week. It's a very cool truck for sure. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 25% off the Vapid Winky. So the Winky came out recently with the Galpa Eco update. It has very good customization and overall detail, but even when fully upgraded, it's still not too great for off-roading. I don't really recommend it unless you like the way it looks in your garage. Moving along, we are 40% off the Caracara. So this is the 6x6 version of the Caracara with a gun at the back that you cannot remove, so keep that in mind. And there really isn't much customization. I highly recommend getting the normal 4x4 version if you're looking to get a Caracara. The 6x6 version is not really too great. And lastly, we have 40% off the APC. So this is one of my favorite vehicles for combat with the optional missile turret upgrade. Plus it can drive on water as well as it's amphibious. If you don't own an APC and want to try it out, now's the best time to get one. I highly recommend it. And that's it for vehicle discounts. I think we got a decent variety this week, but I think a couple of supercars would have made it a little better overall. In terms of login items, you can get this Vapid Age t-shirt for free just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. In terms of double money, we have double money and RP on the adversary modes Bunker, Diamond, and Missile Base. So these are a lot of fun to do with friends and they pay out pretty well during double money. And lastly, the best for last, we have double money and RP on Bunker Sales. So these pay out millions of dollars if done correctly. Obviously the Gaia Perico Heist update has definitely changed the way we make money in GTA Online. But you can still have this bunker business running in the background making you millions while you're doing the heist this week. And if you don't have a bunker as I mentioned earlier, the bunkers are 40% off so now is the best time to get into the bunker business if you haven't already. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only, I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have 70% off the Progen PR4, F1 cars in general are awesome and the PR4 is one of the best. However, it's not the best as the Benefactor BR8 does get better lap times around most tracks. However, at this price, this is a very good deal for an F1 car in general. Next up, we have 80% off the Pegasi Osiris. 
So this car isn't a supercar class and used to be one of the fastest cars in the game when it released about six years ago. But obviously, a lot has changed over the past six years and we have tons of new cars that are a lot faster than the Osiris. But in general, if you wanna have a car just for the looks or looking nice in your supercar garage, this is a great price. And lastly for Prime Gaming, you can get the Sonar Station upgrade for the new Kasaka Submarine for free. This upgrade normally costs about 1.2 million and getting it for free is pretty awesome, but it's kind of funny how they keep repeating <laughs> this free upgrade over and over. Also don't forget guys, just for logging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000, which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the PR4 or the Osiris, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have of course the RC Bandito Time Trial La Fuente Blanca. This week's normal time trial is LSIA. I highly recommend Ara the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Batty801, Pariah, Tally GTO, Emerus, or Krieger for that time trial. So lots of choices there for sure to beat it very easily. And this week's premium race is the supercar race, Cutting Co Warners. I highly recommend either the Emerus, Krieger, S80RR, or Ray Wagner for that race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race. Stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week's main highlight is definitely the double money on the bunker businesses and the brand new Vapid Slam truck that released. I wish there would have been a few more vehicle discounts, but overall, this is a very good event week in my opinion. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.